Tempest and the Global Combat Air Program will preserve critical sovereign combat air capability and enable the UK to retain control over its own security. Support important international relationships and meet future threats, whilst contributing to economic growth and prosperity. The program is estimated to contribute £37 billion to the UK economy before significant additional export potential through the life of the program, providing a real opportunity for national growth. The initial phase of the Tempest project, due to complete in 2025, has £2 billion of funding earmarked from the British government. The ultimate project costs are likely to run into the tens of billions of pounds. Classed as a sixth-generation fighter, the plane is intended to replace the Royal Air Force's current Eurofighter Typhoon, which has been in service since 2003. The program was created when British and Japanese efforts to develop next-generation jets were merged. Tempest will outclass current state-of-the-art aircraft such as the US Air Force's Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, F-35 Lightning II and China's J-20 Mighty Dragon. Japan, Italy and the United Kingdom have reiterated a strong commitment to their joint fighter jet development program. In a bid to allay concerns that the multi-billion dollar endeavor could be impacted by a UK strategic defense review expected next year. All GCAP industry partners are steaming ahead with design activities of the next generation fighter, directly supporting planning for the launch of the development phase. Industry teams across the UK, Italy and Japan have all been provided with one requirement set and are working to it accordingly. The aerospace giants developing Britain's next generation Tempest fighter jet have unveiled a new design of the aircraft amid fears for the future of the multi-billion pound program. Engineers from Bay Systems, Italy's Leonardo and Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Industries have debuted a new concept for the combat aircraft at Farnborough Airshow. The new model, unveiled at Farnborough International Airshow, shows notable progress in the design and concepting of this future fighter jet. The Global Combat Air Program, as Tempest is officially known, hopes to get the new fighter into service by 2035. The aircraft will be one of the world's most advanced. According to its developers, featuring intelligence weapons systems and a next-generation radar that provides 10,000 times more data than current technology. The redesigned aircraft, which is a joint effort between Britain, Japan and Italy, features a larger wingspan than previous models, which should improve the aerodynamics of the plane. The considerable industrial progress to advance the aircraft design contrasts with political uncertainty hanging over the trilateral effort in recent days. After a lawmaker from the new UK government declined to offer a long-term commitment to GCAP, Industry partners involved in the British, Italian and Japanese Global Combat Air Program GCAP have unveiled a new concept of the future crewed fighter jet. Designed around a conventional delta wing shape, giving increased wingspan compared to previous iterations. The UK Bay Systems said the concept. Developed in collaboration with Italy's Leonardo and Japan's Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. Features a much more evolved design, distinguished by the wingspan alteration to deliver improved aerodynamics. The three industry partners are tied into a collaboration agreement covering design and development of the future combat aircraft. Supported by a variety of innovative digital tools and techniques, including computer-based modeling and virtual reality, added Bay in a Sunday statement. The apparent industrial progress to advance the aircraft design contrasts with political uncertainty hanging over the trilateral effort in recent days. After a UK lawmaker from the new Labour government declined to offer a long-term commitment to GCAP. On grounds that taking a position could prejudge or unfairly interfere with the newly commissioned Strategic Defence Review. London has said it will reveal the results of the review, which will take stock of British strategic priorities and equipment needs by the first half of 2025. The GCAP fighter jet is planned to replace British and Italian Eurofighter Typhoons as well as Japanese F-2s, with a service entry date of 2035. It is also expected to operate alongside autonomous collaborative platforms or adjunct aircraft, similar to US Air Force collaborative combat aircraft. Industry partners are also committed to flying a crewed, supersonic and low observable aircraft demonstrator within four years. More imminently, they are scheduled to launch the development phase of the future fighter jet next year, with political representatives of the partner nations also due to meet this week. Both political and industry officials have consistently said that future exports of the aircraft remain a key priority. 
Saudi Arabia has also expressed strong interest in becoming a fourth national partner. But nothing concrete has emerged since the UK indicated in September that no definitive timeline is in play to potentially welcome Riyadh. Herman Klassen, Managing Director of Future Combat Air Systems at Bay Systems told reporters today that the company must respect the fact that the government has called an SDR and wants to look at the priorities and everything that goes with it. Klassen said he spoke directly with UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer, who reiterated a message from the opening of the Farnborough Air Show that GCAP is very important for London. He suggested that the financial investment from the UK MOD to sustain the multi-million effort is on solid ground explaining. I have all the funding today that is needed to support the program in the same way as my colleagues from Leonardo and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries have described. A senior Royal Air Force spokesperson told journalists earlier this week that they had no comment to make on the status of a combat air feasibility study between Saudi Arabia and the UK which Richard Berthon, director of UK Future Combat Air at the British Ministry of Defence, told breaking defence in September 2023 was necessary so a maturity of understanding could be developed between London and Riyadh. At that time, the study was expected to wrap at the earliest in the first quarter of this year. He also shared that GCAP industrial planning has not been influenced by the US Air Force's recent decision to reconsider the path ahead. For its next generation air dominance NGAD 6th generation program.